Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Uh, I'm back down in my eBay room. I did clean up a bit. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot on the floor anymore. I moved some of the boxes to the other side. There's more unfinished side beyond this wall here. That's where all the Christmas totes and everything are. So I took all those other totes that were in here, moved those over there. These are all my boxes, my bubble wrap, my peanuts, my, uh, you know, those plastic bags filled with air that come in things. Um, people save those for me. And I also save all my plastic um, bags and I use those for packing. I use whatever I can for packing and try and recycle. Um, so I think I did pretty well. I just have a few things on the floor and I still might move those. But all in all, I did pretty good. Um, but I had a few people from my last video ask me to put the link to my store, um, you know, in my information. And I'm going to put that down below. I didn't put it in the first time just because I didn't want to be one of those people that, you know, says, oh, I have to, or, you know, organize my room of stuff that I'm selling. And, oh, by the way, you know, here's my site. And I, I just don't like to, like, shove things down people's throats. But, um, you know, if a few of you asked and are curious, I'll put it down below and you can take a look if you want to. Um, but I started doing this probably three or four years ago. Um, probably a year after my daughter was born. She's five now. And at first, I, I just did it out of curiosity. My husband actually sold two of his tow trucks through eBay and had a lot of success doing it. So then I just started selling some extra odds and ends around the house. And it was kind of neat, especially when you put things up for auction and, you, you, you know, you see them go up at the last minute. So I got, I got addicted. And then um, we took a trip to Arizona. Um, he had to go for business. And I ended up finding a book by a woman out there who um, sells things on eBay. She lives in California, so she can do this all year long. I can't do the garage sale thing all year long. But she sold anything and everything. And I learned a lot from her books. Um, I'll try and put her link down below also. Um, but she sold anything and everything. And so then I just started to go to garage sales and look for things and I actually started selling a lot and I got pretty hooked. I mean I could make a lot more if I really put my mind to it and worked a lot harder at it um, which I really need to do but um, for right now yeah, I just do it to make a little extra money here and there. Uh, but I'll show you kind of the types of things that I sell. There's a bunch of Christmas stuff up here. I sell a lot of coffee mugs. Uh, there's uh, M&M's back there. Uh, this is actually a Hershey uh, box. But I have a lot of coffee mugs. Um, down here, there's also some mugs, stuffed animals. And down here, sorry, I got this on the tripod. There's a lot of coffee mugs. There's pillow, there's teapots, which you can't see back there because of the lighting, but milk glass, you know, I just kind of pick up things that I like, pick up things that are interesting, and see what happens. And I've had a lot of success selling a lot of things. I mean, this is three years worth of stuff uh, that's either, you know, still has to be listed or that's listed and just hasn't sold yet, but I have probably sold about a thousand things or more over the past three years. So thankfully they sold or else this room would really look like a mess. Um, but there's pictures and books down on this shelf here. There's some more books down here. I do have some crafty things. Like that's a creating keepsakes. Um, one of those boxes they sold with all the cards and the bags you could decorate. and It has little drawers and stuff in it. Uh, I have one in my craft space, and that was the Christmas one that came on auto delivery, and I have never touched the thing. But it's so heavy that 
I haven't listed it because shipping would probably be a nightmare. Um, well, this is actually all my stuff. My Christmas stuff and my gym shore. Halloween goodies. But, you know, I've got some Hallmark ornaments up there. Those I usually sell in a lot unless it's a really nice one. I did find, like, the holy grail of Hallmark ornaments. This past summer I was so happy. I bought it for $2 and I sold it for 250 So I was, you know, jumping for joy. And that's what kind of keeps me going with this is because, you know, I always do end up finding a home run here and there and, and it's... It's just a real thrill for me. Um, there's a bunch of old jewelry down here. And these are some music boxes my mother-in-law gave me that she wants me to sell. And there's books. There's baby clothes. There's cake pans. I have a lot of cake pans. Some were mine for making my kids cakes. Some I found. Um, I have this really cool teapot and I keep debating whether or not to sell it because I just think the shape of it is really cool. Uh, cross stitch kits and roosters. There's a lot of rooster collectors out there. I just kind of buy things that I think would sell and I try and do a lot of research and I really try and learn. I love to learn. I, look, I read a lot of books and I'm sure there's a lot of things that I've passed up that would have sold for a lot and but I just you know wasn't educated enough but uh, I try and every year I do better and better but I just love the stories behind things I think that's why I buy garage sale items instead of buying new things to sell I love the history I love to find out where they came from who made them and I've actually made a lot of people really happy. I mean, I've shipped things all over the world, which I think is fascinating that they're just like, you know, in someone's driveway in my little town one weekend and then, you know, two weeks later they're in Thailand or Australia or Finland. It's amazing. Uh, but this is all crafty stuff right here, actually. These are all stamps. There's stampin' upsets in there. There's, I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. Got a lot of metal, metal embellishment things from We Are Memory Keepers up here. I have these four. I have two more boxes over here. Um, but if anybody has any questions about eBay or if they want to know a little bit more, if you want to, you know, if you're trying to get into it, let me know. It has its ups and its downs. Its downs, of course, are they keep setting a lot more rules, they keep adding a lot more fees, and you know, I used to start some things out at 99 cents. I've learned better. I don't do that anymore. Um, the vast majority of my things start at 9.99. I don't really price anything below that because it's just not worth it. It's not worth all the time, the effort, because then I have to pay store fees, I have to pay listing fees, and I also have to pay eBay final value fees, and I have to pay PayPal, their fees. So once that's all said and done, anything below $9.99 just doesn't make any sense. Um, but <clears throat> I said that, you know, I liked to buy things because of their stories. And I've bought some things home and my husband will look at them and go, why on earth did you bring that in our house? And <laughs> I said, because I just have a feeling somebody's going to buy it. And they usually do. And then he just looks at me and shakes his head and he says, I keep going to the garage sales. He goes, I don't know what you see in those things, but keep looking. But this is one of the things, one of the stories I wanted to share with all of you. This is what another thing that keeps me going with eBay. Um, I had two of these plates. I had this, I have this one, and I had one with uh, red flowers. And there was a lot of information on the back, but I couldn't find out much information online. I couldn't find out when they were made. Um, so I did my best and I listed this and a few days later I had a question from a woman in England and she asked me how much it would be to ship one of these to her and so I answered her and she came back to me and she says oh thank you so much she goes I'm very very interested in them and she said, the reason I'm interested in them is because um, my grandmother was the artist who designed these. And 
apparently there were eight different plates in this set and what she's trying to do is she has three kids and she's trying to complete a set three sets of eight plates for them so that they'll each have a set from their great grandmother and she'd already had three of these but she needed more of the red plates so she bought the red plate for me and I still have this one but she did give me a lot of inf more information about her grandmother and when these were made and so now I can put them in the listing for this but it's those kind of things that really keep me going I mean some of the items that I've sold you know you or I would think they're very unimportant but to someone else it's it reminds them of their childhood or they have a collection they've been looking for it for years and I just love that I can make people happy by doing this so I'm sure I could be a much better businesswoman if I was you know uh, not just such a softy but I don't know I just like the stories uh, so that's it for today and like I said I'll put the link to my store down below if anybody has any eBay questions please you know let me know because I had to kind of uh, do it all on my own and I, I learned a lot but I'm always willing to help out anyone else who wants to learn so that's it for now and I will talk to y'all soon for day 19 this is part two of day 18 right now so I'll talk to you tomorrow on day 19 thanks for watching guys talk to you soon bye